Mandy Wilson with the Gore Realty, and I have another great fact for you today, um, and a little tip for when you're getting your house ready to sell um, and for showing. And so today we're going to talk about floors, and there is no ground about it, pun intended, that your floors need to look good. So what you need is, um, you don't need a safety jacket, I just really like wearing it because it's bright and pretty, but you'll definitely need some goggles, that'll keep you from getting anything in your eyes, and then you need some gloves. Plus, they're just fun to wear. They make you feel very official. And then what you'll need is some rags. And I put one on my knees because you have to protect the knees. And um, you'll need some gel toilet bowl cleaner. I just use the Lysol clean gel. But make sure it's gel because then it doesn't run so bad. And your least favorite child's toothbrush. <laughs> just kidding. Use the neighbor kid's toothbrush. But anyways, here we go. So what we do is we open it up. And we just, I don't know if you can zoom in on this, but we just um, outline each square. A little bit goes a long way. I got a little aggressive there with that squeeze, that first squeeze. And then we turn on the toothbrush, and I'm not even pushing this hard. I'm like putting no force to it. But you just let it rotate. And you could see earlier that floor was gross. And you know, the funny thing is, is people will say, oh, I can look past the decorating or the dirt or the smells of a house, but I'll be honest, they really can't. So um, the more you can do to make your house look clean and decluttered and um, just really nice, um, the more you're gonna get out of it when it comes to asking price and the quicker it's gonna sell. So let's turn that off. And you just take this towel, old towel, this will bleach your clothes and your woodwork. So make sure if you get close to the woodwork, you wipe that up pretty quick and keep it away from your clothes. But look at that beauty. I mean, that was like really gross. This, this floor has had a lot of high traffic to it. And this grout is pretty old, but I don't know if you can zoom in there and look how beautiful that is. So people are gonna notice that. So again, all you need is some Lysol cleaner, some old rags, the neighbor's toothbrush, and you are set to get that grout beautiful again. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this tip, and I'll bring you some more tips for getting your house ready another time. And remember, if you have any questions about the real estate, whether it's buying, selling, or um, just market questions, feel free to contact me at the links below. I'd be more than happy to help. Have a great day.